welcome back for today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my cucumber and green tea scented shower routine so once again i'm not washing my hair in this video so that's why i'm just skipping right into body care and i have my hair tied back the entire time of course i'm starting off my shower routine with a bar soap i always start off with a bar soap or something to just give me a base clean and i usually use a washcloth when i do this but for today i actually used some exfoliating gloves which are also really really great i got these ones off of amazon i will have everything linked down below in the description and i'm just giving myself a nice base clean i absolutely love this dove bar soap it's so refreshing and it's also very very moisturizing and it just leaves my skin feeling super clean it has the most gorgeous cucumber and green tea scent it just smells so fresh and so clean and it's the perfect bar soap for a base clean especially going with this scented shower routine so as you guys can tell, I'm making sure to really focus on my underarms, the back of my neck, behind my ears, all of those spots where we really build up a lot of sweat and moisture throughout the day. And you just want to make sure that you're not missing any spots. So really just get yourself nice and clean. And of course, I'm then cleaning my legs. I always like to focus behind my knee because that fold right there definitely builds up a lot of sweat. So you want to make sure you're just getting a really good clean. And the best part about these exfoliating gloves is not only do they leave my skin feeling really clean and they give the soap a really nice lather, but they also are of course exfoliating my skin as well. We're also going to be using an actual body scrub for an exfoliator, but this is just like a nice little base exfoliating kind of thing. So it just was really nice and it left my skin feeling super smooth and super clean. And what would this shower routine be without the Tree Hut Green Tea Sugar Scrub? This is definitely one of my favorite scrub scents from Tree Hut. It just smells super clean and it's a very subtle scent, but I just love it so much. And it's this beautiful green color. If you haven't tried a Tree Hut Sugar Scrub yet, seriously, what are you doing with your life? No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, you have to try them. They have the best body scrubs. They'll leave your skin feeling so, so smooth smooth and moisturized and they definitely prep the skin so well for shaving so I really recommend them. And I did the best that I could to exfoliate my back as well. If you really want to reach your back well, you can get a back brush. I do have one, but I didn't use it in this video. But I will pull that out every once in a while to get a really good scrub on my back. And now I'm just rinsing it off. The camera does get a little foggy at this part, so I apologize for that. But now we're moving on to my legs and I was shaving my legs so I made sure to really scrub them well so that it prepped the skin for shaving. You know, scrubs really help not only to moisturize your skin and get rid of dead skin cells but also to loosen up the hair follicles so that you can really prep your skin for a nice and clean shave. So now for shaving, I'm going in with the cucumber and aloe shave gel from the brand Glee. And it's actually funny because I honestly grabbed a random shave gel out of my collection to use for this video because I didn't think that I had any cucumber shave gels or shave creams. 
But funny enough, when I was in the shower, I actually noticed the package said that it was cucumber and aloe scented. So of course it went perfect with the routine, which I was so, so happy about. And I really did like this shave gel. It was nothing like too crazy, but it is nice to have a nice foaming shave gel so that you can really see where you're shaving. And for my razor, I'm using my Joy Razor, which I absolutely love so, so much. If you've been watching my channel, you know this is my diehard razor. I am obsessed with it. So now for our second wash, we're using a liquid body wash. This is the Method Body Deep Detox Body Wash. It does have cucumber and green tea scents and also seaweed. It just smells super fresh and clean. It has that really, really fresh and strong cucumber scent, which I personally love so, so much. I know not everyone loves the cucumber scent, but I personally do because I think it just smells really, really clean. And honestly, it just, you can't go wrong with it. So this body wash is really good. Um, I do like the method body body washes they're not my favorite because i do not feel like they're the most moisturizing but they overall have a really pretty lather pretty packaging so i just use this with my silicone body brush you guys know i love my silicone body brushes i always use them with my liquid body washes And now to finish off the shower routine, I'm just washing my face. I always wash my face in the shower. I'm using the CeraVe Cream to Foam Hydrating Cleanser. And after that, I'm going in with the Baby Dove Soap and the Bamboo Baby Washcloths just to clean the downstairs area. And that's it for the in shower portion of this video. Now to move on to after shower body care. All right, guys, I am out of the shower, and now it's time for my after shower body care. I did want to just ask really quick if you guys like my shower routines better when I do the after shower body care voiceover still, like keep the whole thing voiceover, or if you guys like it better when I voiceover me in the shower, and then when I get out of the shower, I like talk. Just let me know which one you like better because I feel like I try to switch it up, but I don't know if there's one you guys prefer over the other. But let's get into this after shower body care. So I have a few options for moisturizers, but I'm going to go in with the Nivea Body Mousse. This is a 48 hour intense moisture, immediate absorption, and it's in the scent Crispy Cucumber and Matcha Tea, and it's for dry skin. I did find this, I believe, at TJ Maxx. I don't think it's sold in like your regular Target, Walmart type of stores. I do really like it because it is like a mousse, but it turns into a lotion and it's super moisturizing. However, since this is something that you don't really find often, I would recommend also trying out the Victoria's Secret Green Tea and Cucumber Body Lotion. I don't actually own that specific scent, but I do own some other products from the natural beauty line from Victoria's Secret. And I really do like them and I've actually smelled that scent at Victoria's Secret in the store before so that is a really good option if you want something else that is a little bit easier to find you can try that I also do really like this Vaseline intensive care aloe soothe lotion for this routine as well it's not actually cucumber scented it is aloe scented but I feel like some of these products that are aloe scented actually fit with the cucumber and green tea routine really nicely just because aloe is a very like fresh and clean scent but it's also not too overpowering so I think that this would also go perfectly with the routine but as I said I'm going to be using the Nivea body mousse today because I just feel like this one goes the best with the routine. So I do shake it up first and I just 
put it on my hand it does kind of come out like a mousse but it looks like a lotion when you put it in your hand and I do really like it you don't need a lot at all a little bit really does go a long way so I'm just going to put this over my arm and it does actually kind of feel like very liquidy it doesn't really feel like your typical lotion however it's still super moisturizing and the cucumber scent is so so nice like it smells so fresh and I really do like this so I'm just putting this all over I'm gonna put some on my chest so I'm just going to do my legs now so before I put that on my legs I'm going to use my um, bye bye razor bump serum from Unoya glow I don't typically get razor bumps on my legs but sometimes I do so I like to just put this on to prevent it and I just put usually like two drop fulls I use a generous amount but you don't really need that much um, and this does have a very strong tea tree oil scent but when you put a lotion over it it really isn't strong and it doesn't like overpower it or anything and now oh now i'm using the nivea again i guess when i hold it on its side it doesn't really come out well but um this is actually kind of a lot i'm probably going to be able to use this for both legs but and i'll do the rest of my legs afterwards off camera this stuff is super easy to rub in, so I think if you do find it at your local like TJ Maxx or anything, Bur Burlington, Marshalls, I think you should really try picking it up because I do like it a lot. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to put on some deodorant. So for my deodorant, I'm using my Aluminum Free Secret Deodorant in the Cucumber Scent. I love the Secret Aluminum Free Deodorants because compared to the Dove, the Dove is actually like a jelly one. It's like kind of liquidy and clear, and I do like that a lot. However, sometimes with the aluminum free deodorants I actually start to like miss the powdery feeling of a regular deodorant but this still has that like powdery feeling and it is aluminum free and it also does glide on so so well you guys and it also doesn't like get on your clothes too much I feel like so I really do like it and then for my scent I'm just using the cucumber and melon from Bath and Body Works and I'm just going to spray this all over my body like literally so much I really do like this um it is discontinued I got it during the semi-annual sale but I grew up on this scent like literally this scent brings back so much memories it just smells so so clean but anyways you guys that is it for my cucumber and green tea scented shower routine i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you're liking these scented shower routines and if you want me to keep doing them or if you guys want to see something different because i want to make sure you guys are liking the videos that i'm uploading so just let me know down below let me know what other scents you want to see i do have some scents coming up i'll give you guys a little sneak peek if you watch this point in the video i'll be doing a vanilla scented shower routine soon an oatmeal scented shower routine soon and a strawberry scented shower routine soon soon so make sure to be on the lookout for those and I also have some other scents in mind I was going to do watermelon but I don't know if I'm going to do it because summer is kind of almost over and I feel like watermelon is very much a summer scent but yeah I will have all the other shower routines I did linked down below in the description and I also have been linking all of the products in the description box as well if you guys haven't noticed in my past two shower routine videos so make sure to always check that out if you guys want to know what the products I'm using are and I really hope that you guys liked this video if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.